guys, we finally, finally got a washing machine. Yeah, is the washing machine and as you can see, it's an LG one. We had done an intensive research regarding machines and LG came highly reviewed. So we obviously went with that. Another thing, this one is a front load. And according to the reviews, this one is much more efficient in terms of power consumption and water consumption. Maybe I will do a review of that later when I have used it for like a month or so. And another thing, this one is a two-in-one. So that means that it has a dryer as well something that i really really love the reason why i went with one with a dryer is not major the reason is because the difference between this one and the one without a dryer was insignificant okay not really insignificant but it was small the difference was small i think it was less than five thousand kenyan shillings and for me having a dryer is a plus having a dryer is a plus for those gloomy days or when you feel like wearing a certain dress but you can't wear it because it's dirty you can learn a lot and dry it and maybe when people come to your house and spillages happen you can learn a lot and dry it i love that about it can't wait to use it i honestly can't wait to use it we bought it inside it at hot point it was actually delivered yesterday we bought it during the weekend so they couldn't have delivered it then and installation is absolutely free they are coming to install it today and i can't wait for them to install it honestly this makes me so excited if you follow me on instagram you know that i have been wanting a washing machine for the longest time and seeing this come into life this is one of my year's highlight honestly honestly <laughs> and yeah that's that this one is the is the guard and i don't think this one is for the machine i think this one is for the sound bar because we got the sound bar as well and you guys honestly it's the aesthetics for me it's the aesthetics for me i really love how it looks and this this speaker this one is wireless i wish there was a way of hiding it but I was it to share hapa and also we need it for the for the sound <laughs> yeah so we can't hide it but i really love this sound but it really looks nice i love it i love it so i will wait for the guys to come install the washing machine and maybe i will show you that process and i will see you later when you see me obviously hey guys how are you doing i'm hoping you are doing well i am doing well as well welcome and welcome back to my channel in case you are new here karibu 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 sana my name is miss kenywa and you should consider subscribing because we have good content over here and if you've not followed me on instagram kindly do my instagram handle is terry kenywa i will be sure to leave it on the screen but in case i don't remember i won't forget to put a link on the description box as well as on the comment section below so that you can follow me and get updated updates over there <laughs> like this one like we got the washing machine around two three months ago but you did you didn't know that because you've not followed me on instagram my instagram followers know that and they have been pushing me <laughs> to do a review of it you guys this is the second time that i'm filming this i lost the first footage and you guys losing footage is a content creator's worst nightmare you guys it hurts and i didn't even feel like filming it again but because my instagram followers won't let me rest i have to do it so yeah we got the washing machine around two three months ago i think i have mentioned that I will put a clip of the content that remained after the other one <laughs> got lost and we got um i wanted to say a wet and dry vacuum the word vacuum is stuck on my mind we got um wash and dry washing machine and if there is something that this washing machine has taught me for the two three months is that a washing machine is not a luxury it's not a luxury it's a basic need it's a basic need if anything i should have got it before i got the dining table i think the dining table is more of a luxury than the washing machine and you guys it has isn't it has isn't our work in this house by 50 percent 
maybe I'm saying for 50% because I hate laundry, but it's doing a pretty great job. I love it. I think it's my new favorite gadget in this house. Yeah, so um, I don't even know what to say in the review, but we will see. I the only thing that I can review it on is the power consumption because the water consumption I don't know about that because we don't pay water in our apartment, so there is no way of me knowing. But I think we will do a load with you so that you can see the amount of tokens consumed. Yeah, but if you have any other question. Please leave it on the comment section below. I will be sure to answer it on the comment section below. But for now, I think because I want to change bedding, we will change this, do a lot of them. And I also want to, today I'm even removing the mattress protector. I'm, I'm cleaning everything. We will do that in one load. So yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let me just stop talking and do it. We we'll learn the load with you and you will see the amount of tokens that you will consume. I also give you a uh, like an overview of the machine, the functions that it have and all that. We will wash and then we will we will wash without drying so that you can see the amount of tokens that you will consume without drying and then we will dry dry them in the washing machine or the sunny today <laughs> but because i want to do this content for you and this is the reason why you should give this video a thumbs up we will dry them in the washing machine so let's do that we strip the bed we vacuum it we change the bedding and then we go run the load right let's do it <music> to do the rest of the cleaning on camera because this is not a bedroom cleaning video so if i continue doing that you will lose the essence of this video so i will clean the rest of it off camera but for now we will put this on this is a mattress protector because i'm cleaning the other one a duvet cover case cases and a bed sheet i usually use two but i'm going to use one nowadays i actually use one because i bought another mattress protector for exchanging with the other one so yeah there is that we will just put this on and then we go clean this i know that is mostly <laughs> why you are here but in case you want to see a bedroom cleaning video i will put it on the comment section below for now let's get done with this so that we can go wash the rest Got 
Having fresh bedding is everything and I am done changing the bedding so when I'm back I will just put the covers to those because I'm cleaning them, clean the floor and the carpet and I will be done because I have already cleaned the bed as well. So let's go clean this. Now we are had mentioned that it's a washer plus dryer and it can clean up to 10.5 kgs of clothes and dry up to 7 kgs and then these are the cycles my go-to's my go-to's are the mixed fabric and the easy care like right now I'm going to use the easy care and also I use the quick 30 quite a lot when I don't want to clean clothes for a long time maybe they are not dirty I use this one and then there is the option for drying only if you want to wash and dry at the same time this is it and then the tub clean I think it's for cleaning the washing machine and then delicates delicates for things like lingerie and all that basically they are very self-explanatory and you guys this section over here has shown me things I never used to set my temperature and number of spins and what that did I had to iron clothes every time I did laundry until my Instagram followers told me to reduce the number of spins and set temperature to cold let me put it on so most of the time I use cold and I reduce the number of spins to 400 or 800 so yeah and you can also set it to dry only if that's what you want you can also rinse you can also place press this one to remove or add an item so that the machine opens so that's basically it and another thing that I love about this machine you can connect it to your phone through this thin queue and you can basically do everything from your phone i love love that through wi-fi you can connect it through wi-fi so that's that's that that's that i think i will just put the soap soap and the fabric softener and then we will go see the number of units remaining so that we can estimate the number of units that it's going to use but before then okay that's that's the same ka, ka, ka song is it ka song ka rhythm it gives you when it's done <laughs> another thing you need a drainage system and you also need this cut up this cut up i think we bought it at 2500 you need that as well this is our drainage system our initial thought was to put it in the bathroom but then they told us this this is a better option and we went with it so this is where it stays the only disadvantage is that i used to have i i have to use a ladder to put detergent over there because i'm quite short and you also need a source of power so ours comes from here and i love the fact that they tamed these wires so it comes from there and the wires go all through up to there i think they have removed them over from there yeah that's that's that that's that you need a drainage system and power a power source and that's it so let me put detergent over here another thing because here it's outside as you can see it's outside <laughs> and we don't have like window panes or anything we had to get this and one of the guys is the one who sold it to us and i love the fact that this one is not the kamokoji ones this is not paper it's canvas and i love i love 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 it most of the times 
if I'm not cleaning, it's usually covered like that. I can't remember. I think we bought it for 4,000 or 5,000. Can't remember. But yeah, you need to get one if yours is if yours is outside like mine because the amount of dust that gets here you guys is insane <laughs> anyway you guys let me put the detergent and then we go check the number of units and see how many units it will consume i have talked so much <laughs> i have redone this part like six times anyway give this video a thumbs up you guys for the detergent this is the only one that i have used ever since we got the washing machine so i don't know much about them but this one is quite working quite fine but i'm willing to experiment with other options so if you have better options let us know on the comment section below and i'm still using downy this is the fabric softener that i was using even before sometimes i mix it with vinegar but today i'm not going to do that so i use half a lid of it and half a lid of this liquid soap as well and i'm going to put this off camera because you guys i have told you that i have to use a ladder and i'm short <laughs> so i will do that and then i will show you the number of units remaining I lose control. So these are the number of units before I start the washing machine. Let me go start it and then we will see how many there will be when we are done. laundry these are the number of units remaining i think they have gone this low because i rinsed the load as well i don't normally do that but that's it let me go dry it i will make sure that the clothes are completely dry and then we will see there is nothing else that is using electricity apart from lights and and have the fridge so let me go dry it and then i will come I am going to dry them for one hour but I will add the time in case they are not completely dry because we want them to be completely dry and I will change the number of spins to 1200 I don't think I will be able to change the temperature but spins 1200 so it has come to one hour 24 minutes oh, not two hours not two hours Hello. okay that's it i will show you the number of units this will take to dry but if the load won't be completely dry i will add time until it's dry because sometimes i do that for <laughs> two hours if I, ha I am having heavy heavy clothes but since these are just bedding they might take less time so I will be back when they are guys we are done these are completely completely dry as you can see no water no nothing like i don't even need to dry them again and if i needed to i'll just add some time so for this i will just tie on and put them away all of them are dry let's go see the number of units that the drying has consumed and that is the number of the remaining units so i would say a unit or so i will calculate i don't remember the number of units that were on before i put on the dryer but that's it so i would say two units for washing and drying but i don't normally do that like the first load i ran it for two hours that is too much and also if most of the times I use the quick 30 button and that takes less than a unit for both cleaning and drying most of the most of the cycles take less than a unit I have never seen a, a load that took more than two units so I would say two for cleaning and for both cleaning and drying and also what else yeah i rinsed most of the times i don't do that so i think that also contributed 
to the units going up but i would say two units it's not that bad so i have i think i have answered your energy consumption question if you have any other apart from water because i'm not able to tell that we don't pay for water in our apartment so there is no way i would <laughs> know the amount of water it uses but before we bought this we had done research and most front loads don't use a lot of water and electricity so they are very efficient when it comes to that and i don't think there is anything more to add to this video kindly give it a thumbs up if you have any question be sure to leave it on the comment section below and i will answer it but for now give this a thumbs up comment on the comment section below and i will see you in my next one bye